Right. It's, that young running back, uh, uh, what's his name? Is uh, uh, the Rick Dobbins. Dobbins. Yeah. Dobbins. Yeah. yeah. That's a kid out of Ohio State, right? Yep. And that's because he got a lot of fun because uh, Ingram was out. But he brings a, uh, almost a dimension. Remind me of Ray Wright. Right, right. He does. I hope he's not exactly like Ray, but you know. <laughs> All right, man. We finna start this speed round. You can stay on if you like, Dale. Uh, we finna start this speed. We gonna start this speed round because we we gonna do the speed round. Then we over with. We got the Vikings and the Packers. Everybody, give me a real quick take on the Vikings Packers game. Go. Dalvin Cook. <laughs> Dalvin Cook. <laughs> they ran, ran, ran until they couldn't run no more. Dale? Yeah, man, that was old. That was old. Yeah, definitely Dalvin Cook, but that's that Green Bay defense is not as, I mean, Green Bay uh, team is not as good as everybody want to make them. There's some holes in there. Totally agree with Dale. That's how San Francisco beat them in the playoffs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I, I totally agree with Dale. Uh, everybody who laughed at me two years ago when I was on the other network, oh man, you got to adjust to this new NFL. You run the wing, you throw the score. The, 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 this shit never changes. The Rams versus the Dolphins. Go! Dolph- Rams do it. Do it. <laughs> exactly. You said what? He said the Rams beat themselves. And I'm saying exactly. He said he's going to be able to Especially run a team the way he did unaffectedly, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna always get the turnover the way it is. He's gonna have to throw the ball and take the play. Haji? Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, I agree with uh, I, I agree with uh, Joe Joe as well, man. He, you're not gonna win a lot of games in the NFL like that. But then again, I think it's a mark on the Rams. Uh, the Rams, uh, one of the teams people are starting to say, but they, they're not on that. I predicted that. I knew they were sleepwalking to that game. Uh, my man, uh, uh, Brian Flores, is a great defense coordinator from the Belichick tree. Looks like he's going to be the only person from that tree that's worth a, uh, uh, worth a damn. Jason Goff is the most ridiculously overrated quarterback in the history of damn near in the history of football because he puts up those numbers. I think we need to stop paying attention to what Tua didn't do and start looking at what golf didn't do. Golf didn't play worth crap. Tua is a rookie. They weren't going to let him put the ball in harm's way. No way. I think he played like a rookie should. Don't blow it. We'll do it. The Bills versus the Patriots. It's the dynasty over. Talk to me. Yep. Sam Trubisky playing. Slow down. Slow down, homie. Man, that's how you play. Fuck you, man. Yeah, it, it, it's over. It's easy to tell. Uh, you got felt shit crying about Sally Cat, man. Y'all been rolling for years. It's what it is. Y'all don't have no horses. Yeah. Uh, right. Just say you're having an off year and you're killing man. Right. What y'all, what y'all failing to realize, the Patriots had the most people who set out for, due to COVID. I don't think this shit is over. Bill Belichick did exactly what I said uh, the dumbass coach in Baltimore should do. Play to your player's best skill set. They did that. And fumbles happen. This is the vaunted Buffalo Bills that everybody thought was going to be blah, blah, blah. Josh Allen overrated, and they don't want to just get a ball to Singleton. They want to keep making him look like a real quarterback, and that's why they lost to me. I don't think the dynasty's over. When this boo-boo flu is over, you get those eight players back, most of them who were defenders, and then they'll be church. They're going to sign Dak Prescott, and then, this, as we say on the west side of Chicago, it's church on the move, ain't it, man? Uh, the Tennessee tuxedos... Versus the Bungles. Yeah, man, I, I, I like that thing, uh, the Cincinnati thing. Uh, uh, Jabril looks like he might be the real deal, man. Oh, man. Uh, I'm still not fooled. Jabril, as far as I'm concerned, but again, 
this, this is another thing. It's one thing if you lose the game to if you're a Titan. The Titans have been anointed as one of the top teams in the AFC. You can't lose that you know, game now. That's not the Steelers. That's not the uh, Chiefs. Not the Ravens. You can't lose to no rookie quarterback. That's why I said the Titans. I think they can. They're in the future. Uh, you shut that passing game over. Tannehill's not. I don't want to go too long. Tannehill's not. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I agree, with, I agree with them fully. Um, I said it's a half week. They're running the ball through Henry and going with these scores. they just masking the incapability of, of, of Tennessee. And the game wasn't running like it's supposed to. And he couldn't get the ball to the receiver. <laughs> they was won. Hey, man, and plus, uh, keep in mind that uh, they pass rush is non existent. I wouldn't give a damn if they had the greater if they had the combination Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Chicago Bear, Raven pass rush. Ryan Tannehill is a seal. You are not gonna win anything with him. And he's right out the Nick Foles category. The Nick Foles playbook. If you couldn't stay the quarterback with the Miami Dolphins, you don't need to be now he's a backup who getting start of money. It's another case, but he's shown some ESPN. Let me scrub slide these white boys who come out here scrubbing it up and they want to just, they don't want to say, if Ryan Henry ever have an off game, anytime you make Ryan Henry look like he's having a good game, they're going to lose. Because if he's not having a dominant game, they get their ass kicked. Next game is the Aints versus the Chicago Boxers. Shout out to Williams. <laughs> hey man, this oh. <laughs> I want my hundred dollars in nickels and dimes too. How are you a professional quarterback and you don't have any pocket pressure? Because you're a professional backup quarterback. Play you. You know your personnel, man. If the coaching is just smelling this to you, and dude, why is you? I mean, go look at next. I see you. Joe Haji. Why? Oh. <laughs> and My bad. What is going off your back foot? Idiot, man. What is going on, man? I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. This is funny. Any time I do it, to be honest with you, I, I laugh and joke about you. Um, but Sunday, man, I'm not gonna lie. I was saying to myself, dude, maybe you should put your bitch in. There was a play when it was like 10 yards in front of this dude, man. And he ran backwards. He, I'm like, what the what are you doing, man? And then that throw off your back foot and throw it up in the air. You don't know how to personnel for that type of shit. No one does. How'd you? Uh, I was going to say, uh, to me, with that defense, uh, Chicago has a pretty adequate defense. If you put a quarterback back there, that, you know, guys. Jeff Hostel. Like a quarterback. <laughs> y- 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 y'all can win a lot of games. Y'all, Chicago should be to win most games. That's a game they gotta win. If, if you look back on that, they're gonna spell that you lose to fuck up with them all. True breeze. Y'all gotta win that game. Facts. That, that, that's what it's gonna be. Hey, his arm, um, the way he throw now was worse than um, Peyton Manning last year, man. I told you, the boy is in the shower. He just turned the water off. What that mean? He's washed. Drew Brees, I'm glad he's getting what he's getting because Drew Brees ran. He, he usually run a real screen and dump off game, but in the offseason, he ran Operation Cock Block because he didn't want Teddy Bridgewater to get that job. He wanted his, his boy, number seven, to get the job, and this what you get, sucker MC. This why one. wasn't the Bears on the line um, at least 
seeing what they could, what the one with the one for James Lynch. Uh, because he black. Cowboys yeah. versus the the D greats versus the microwaves. If you don't know, that's the Cowboys versus the Eagles. Since you ain't speak last time, you go first, Joe. Uh, man, uh, Cowboys. Uh, where do we begin? Um, they just they just out of sorts. Um, it really shows that that Dak was the group that held that offense together, and now that that's gone, that that that's it. Uh, Philly got back on the road, sort of. Um, like you said, beating up on the Cowboys is sort of like a bye week or a practice game. So hopefully this actually prepares Philly to do something more. Haji, Illinois. Well, I, I, I'm going to tell you, I mean, you watch who has a quarterback right now. Uh, uh, you should appreciate that presence out a lot. Because right now, uh, even with Dalton, they don't have a chance. You can't run the ball because everybody can sit in the box. And now you can't throw the ball. All that good talent from outside the field is enough. For me. Uh, I, I, I think... Even uh, an H rap and the Halal brothers would be uh, Cowboys right now. <laughs> <laughs> Compton? You want, hey, you want to break the soda? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, I mean, the, the Cowboys want to close up real quick, man. <laughs> as far as that, that same offensive line, where I don't think he's gone to hurt, retired, quarterback gone. Um, I don't know if this beat is, is uh, interested, but he, he's kind of playing with Archie too, man. Uh, this is going to be a long year for them. Well, in the words of the great fair much, life threw a brick through Dallas windows of opportunity. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys are falling apart because their ownership is poor. They care more about fame and fortune than winning. He talks a good game about winning, but again, this goes back to leadership of organization, leadership on the field. Mike McCarthy should be fired tonight. Mike McCarthy should not be allowed to coach another football game. The reason I say that is this. How are you a quarterback play calling guru and the quarterbacks are the worst motherfuckers on your team? He didn't, he didn't really freak it with this nepotism with the dude who hired him getting the job at defensive coordinator and then the dude that your brother coach getting the job as quarterback, as the backup quarterback. Every team should have a backup plan to the backup plan. That's what good teams do. The team, that offensive line is trash. It, and, and the reason they are in disarray is because they went to Smith two years early, gave him the money. They went to the defenders two years early to get him the money. All they had to do was do the exact same thing that Dak, when Tony Romo packed his, got his coat, y'all supposed to gave Dak an extension and y'all could, y'all would have cap money to fill in these blanks. On the bright side, Randy Gregory is back. As long as he can stay away from the drugs, he'll be cool. Demarcus Lawrence, they seem like they play with a little pride. But let's not forget Carson Wentz. Bob! That's all you gotta say about him. Bum. But, but he also got another. You also got another situation where the coach is coaching his. He's coaching uh, uh, his game plan, not the talent. We're not gonna talk about the Bronco, the, the Colts, and the Lions because nobody care. We're not gonna talk about the Donkeys and the Chargers because no, nobody care. I got one question, then we're gonna do the pickums and we out. What do y'all think about the fact that uh, the latest victim of the Boo Boo flu? Trevor Lawrence is considering staying in school to avoid the just in the season. I think that was just so I doubt if he uh, um, staying in school, but <laughs> would you want to go to the jet? Yep. Um Yeah, I would because if you um be a winner in a in Thank a you. city like what? You a god. You be the man. Okay. And let's not forget. I wanted, uh, wanted to manage the club because, like Dusty Baker said, if you 
um, bring the championship to 